Hi, I'm Kim, and today we're talking about cicadas. Welcome to McHenry County Conservation District, Wonders of the Wild. You've probably heard by now that we are expecting a large emergence of 17-year cicadas. Uh, what this means is that there are cicadas who do come out every year, and we call those annual, but this year we are expecting the periodical cicadas, which have been underground as nymphs for the past 17 years. We're not exactly sure when to expect them, but we do know that they begin to emerge when the soil temperature at about eight inches down is 64 degrees. We have already found some holes that indicate that the cicada nymphs have dug, but they haven't actually emerged yet. So what do we expect? Well, in the areas where there are cicadas currently underground, there are going to be thousands of cicadas. So it's possible that every mature tree in our oak and hickory woodlands have thousands of nymphs currently feeding off of the sap from the roots. What's going to happen when they are warm enough and ready to come out is they are going to emerge as adult cicadas and there are going to be cicadas everywhere. It makes quite a sound because the males are going to begin calling for mates. They do this uh, by vibrating an organ called a timbre. And the sound of one cicada male can be as loud as a chainsaw. Now imagine multiplying that by thousands. It can be quite the chorus. The female cicadas need to lay their eggs in the tree branches. They usually go pretty high up to find smaller, maybe pencil thin branches, and they use their ovipositor to insert the eggs into the branches. One female may lay as many as 300 to 600 eggs. These eggs are then going to take weeks to develop, and when the nymphs hatch, they're going to drop to the ground, dig into the ground to attach themselves to the roots where they will feed off of the sap for another 17 years. It's thought that the practice of only coming out every 17 years and all emerging at once is a strategy to avoid overpredation. There are going to be lots and lots of predators eating the cicadas. Opossums, raccoons, your dogs, some people, uh, other insects, uh, um, arachnids, birds, they'll all be feasting on this huge cicada buffet, but they can't eat them all. Now, this is going to be a little bit overwhelming for all of us in certain areas. They are not going to be all over the county, and sometimes they might not be in a location where they were 17 years ago, depending on what happened to that land. Was it developed? Was it sprayed with pesticide? Um, so we're not exactly sure where they'll be, but when you do see them, you don't have to be afraid. They are not uh, farm pests. They are not related to locusts. They are not going to bite you. Um, they're pretty much just out for mating season and laying eggs, and that is it. That is their purpose. Uh, it is going to be loud, which could potentially be annoying, but besides that, there's really nothing to fear. If you have planted any uh, young saplings recently, that could be a concern because of those uh, pencil thin branches being easily accessible on younger trees. And so maybe you would want to wrap those. Um, but besides that, they aren't doing any damage to the mature trees. In fact,
fact, the cicada emergence can actually be good for the woodland ecosystem where it happens. All the emergent holes are, in a sense, aerating the soil. Um, and then when the cicadas all die several weeks after emerging, the nitrogen is adding basically fertilizer to the soil. So it's not harmful, it's actually helpful. Thanks for listening. And remember to please respect the plants and animals in your local conservation area and watch for us next time on McHenry County Conservation District's Wonders of the Wild. Oh, my God.